Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is the Love Knit 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features of this solar panel. This panel does come with a kit of adapters. They're barrel plugs and also an Anderson. We'll get to that in just a moment. So on the back side of this panel, it has a pouch with a water resistant zipper. So I can unzip this to access the cable inside, as you can see right here, nice and long. It also has a USB-A and a USB Type-C and an LED indicator for the mode. Uh, to go over the info here, this is the model HYD-T100. Peak power 100 watts, 23% efficiency, 18 volts, 5.5 amp max, temperature range 10 to 65 C, open circuit voltage 21.6, short circuit current 6.1 amps, USB type A, 5 volt 3 amp, USB C, 5 volt 3 amp. So uh, this pouch is water resistant, so you can put your phone or tablet in there to charge, even in a light drizzle, and it wouldn't uh, get that wet. So there's also these fold out Velcro tabs, which allow you to angle this up into the sun. It has grommets, so you can mount this onto uh, the tree or the side of your RV and a nice plastic carrying handle. And if I open this up, you can see those monocrystalline panels. It has a fabric uh, outer, and then the panel itself has a coating on it to help it stay uh, scratch-free and also water resistant. All right, let's go ahead and get some numbers on this panel. I'm gonna open the panel up and pull out these little legs so that it will stand into the sun like this. There's one of those on each side, and that will allow us to get it propped up like that into the sun. And then I also want to open up the zipper pouch and pull out that cable so we can see how it's doing here. Now this thing is about 10 foot long, which gives you plenty of room to work with. I've got a multimeter. Let's go ahead and see what the voltage is here in the sun. 23.1 volts. To check the functionality of the panel, I've got this small power station, and I've noticed that the adapter I need is this white one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the barrel plug, and then I can plug this up to the input of the power station. And I'll bring you a little closer so you can see that turn on. I also have this little flashlight that I need to charge up. And this is gonna be connected directly to the back of the panel on that uh, box. So let me show you that as well. The screen here on this power station is very reflective, but it is currently getting 60 watts in and is charging at 44%. So let's step back out here in a little bit and see what this is charged up to. In order to charge my little flashlight, I'm going to put the USB into the side of this box, just like that, and then I can Plug this up in here. All right, and once I move this back into the sun, we should be able to see the light turn on. Okay, and there's the green light of this flashlight charging. It's been exactly one hour. We're now at 64% charge and it's got 57 to 60 watts coming in. Now I did forget to mention that that power station only accepts 60 watts in. Uh, so this thing will probably hit somewhere closer to 90 watts as it's uh, charging a power station that will accept that. Also, that flashlight is still being charged here. I noticed that the uh, green light was still on. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, right in there. So yes, this panel is doing exactly what it's advertised to do. It is charging up a USB device and also a power station here in this sunlight. Okay, now that we've seen this panel is working well, I'm gonna go ahead and put things back into the storage compartment back here. Go ahead and unplug this light. So if you are looking for a solar panel that you can put in the sun to charge up something like a power station or a tablet or cell phone, then this would be a good option for you. You can find this panel on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description down below. Uh, it runs somewhere around the $200 mark. And it comes with the Anderson plug and then several of those barrel plugs, which I'm gonna keep those 
in the little side pouch here. And that concludes the first look of the LoveKnit 100 watt monocrystalline fold out solar panel. Definitely check the link in the description below for this on Amazon. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.